Hello and Assalamualaikum This is Aya from Halal Media Japan Working in Japan might be something that a lot of people are dreamt of Maybe for the salary, for the experience, or maybe for any other reasons But what should we do to be able to work in Japan? And what should we pay attention to as a job seeker and also after we got recruited? To answer these questions, today we are connected to Kaiji Kadirwada the CEO of Caro Diversity Inc, a recruitment company based in Tokyo. Hi Kaiji, Assalamualaikum, how are you? Waalaikumsalam, well, Alhamdulillah, I'm good Aisa, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm also very good today. I'm very pleased to be able to interview today. Um, could you please introduce yourself and the company you are running for? Uh, my name is Kaiji Wada from Caro Diversity. And actually I'm from Waseda University in Japan, in Tokyo. And I have the experience as exchange in Brunei Darussalam. After that, from 2019 to 2020, I was working in Indonesia for 1.5 years and came back to Japan uh, last year, then established this company. So your company is about a recruitment company and how big is the chance for foreigners to work in Japan? First of all, the chance for foreigners to work in Japan has getting bigger year by year. Uh, this is because in Japan, the population is decreasing year by year. So, you know, we need more workforce from the outside of Japan to sustain Japan's economy and society. Quite good opportunity for foreign people to work in Japan from now on. I see. So what is the basic condition foreigners need to prepare to apply for a job and also about the uh, Japanese ability because since you know many foreigners concerned with their Japanese ability, what do you think? Um, if you would like to work in Japan, I recommend you to get able to speak Japanese at least conversation level. I mean you can do, you know, uh, you can handle the conversation in daily life. Actually, Japan is a unique country because in Japan, we use only Japanese in daily life. Mostly, uh, they need the Japanese language to, you know, to do the business. Now we, Career Diversity, has many clients, but 90-90% of job vacancies require Japanese, uh, Japanese language. I see, so it is better for the job seeker to prepare themselves with at least the conversational level of the Japanese. I see. Yeah, so not 100%, but I recommend you to, mm. you know, to prepare for Japanese language. So they will get a bigger opportunities to Yeah, get the, job. the option will be the wider. Ah, I see. So what Japanese companies expect from recruiting mm. foreigners? Uh, based Basically, they need your background such as language, multicultural opinion, and various ideas from the perspective of foreigners. Sometimes you are required to adjust yourself in Japanese, Japanese working culture. So um, you better prepare to know about Japanese working culture. When I was working in Indonesia, I had to know working culture of Indonesia to do business with locals even though I was a foreigner. Uh, this is crucial tips for doing business in foreign culture and foreign countries and to respect local society as a foreigner. Very true. It's also necessary to job seekers to have an understanding and adjustment to the working culture and environment in addition to the language. Okay. Yes, actually, if you don't, you know, you don't understand about Japanese working culture, you may feel sometimes stressful and there is a gap between your your uh, image from the reality. So I think you, you should better to study or you know to research about Japanese working culture beforehand. But what Japanese companies see from a foreigner applicant before recruiting? I mean what is the company see from the foreign hmm. applicant like oh he or she is the one for us like something like uh, that. Uh, Japanese companies will see how the applicant benefit the company and their ambition or their vision for their career. My recommendation to prepare is if you want to work in Japan, you should specify your career plan at least for 10 years later. If you don't have the ambitious career plan, they might think you are not thinking your career very well. 
you have to prepare your career plan and your vision what you want to do through your lifetime and prepare how you can be committed or you contribute to the company why you are required by the company you should show the reason why you are necessary for the company we call this process jikobunseki or self-analysis mm -hmm. self-analysis is to analyze yourself mm -hmm. what's your strengths or weakness This is some tips from my experience. Mm, I see. It's very important, I think, mm. to know your strengths and also um, what kind of things that you are um, have a talent on it so the company can um, consider you more. Um, this is also a question that maybe one of um, our followers who have seen this video are okay. very concerned with. It's about how about the possibility for those who are outside of Japan to apply for a job in Japan? Uh, I see. Uh, actually, at this moment, during this pandemic, maybe application from outside of Japan is very difficult because you know, our border is closed by the government. And Japanese company at this moment are very reluctant to recruit foreign talent. However, 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 if the economy get, get recovery and the society becomes stable after this pandemic, I think that possibility will increase. The more and more company will go to the foreign countries to recruit the foreign talents. Um, there are still chances for them who are outside. Yes. Of like yes. So in my opinion, uh, this pandemic is very good chance or good timing to prepare yourself to brush up your skill or to do self analysis or jikobunseki. <sighs> So, yeah. yes, I totally agree with you. So use this time when you need to be stay at home to uh, brush up more about your skills. Sometimes there is some applicants uh, without you know any Japanese or any skills. Actually, uh, in that case, actually I'm really confused because it's really difficult to introduce some job vacancies. So yeah, it's is you know your possibility will become bigger if you prepare your your skills or your uh how they say your experience beforehand before you come to japan about muslim job seekers what should they do to explain to the company about their needs like for example wearing hijab pray in, in the afternoon or many other needs do you have any tips for them okay uh if i talk about this topic maybe it takes one hour or two hours <laughs> so uh, to avoid to avoid that kind of situation, I have lot uh, I have written one article about you know the topics. Uh, so you can check this article from the uh, description box. Actually, my uh, article focuses on five major points. The first one is understanding towards Muslims in the workplace in Japan. The second one is player at the workplace. The third point is clothes and hijabs, including the beards for, for the men. And the fourth point is identify company with understanding of Muslims or foreigners. The last one is find the people and the communities talk to or to belong to. Mm -hmm. I explain about these five points. Actually, this is very crucial and indispensable for the Muslims to get the job in Japan. So I recommend, or it's not promotion, but you know, it's a uh, recommendation from from me to check this article. <laughs> it's totally very important uh, article that you are written um, there because it is really important for us as a job seekers. I would like you guys to check the link below on the description box to check the article written by Kaiji. Do you have any advice about what foreigners do and don't in finding employment, for example, during application to the interview and also in actually working in a Japanese company? Because I believe that there is a lot of differences from those. Do you have any tips for that? I have three advice. Actually, uh, this advice maybe kind of same as I mentioned today. First one is please identify what skill is required or prepared for it. Even though you would like to work in Japan, it's not that easy. Once you decide to work in Japan, please research what you can do with your skill and your background. 
If it's not enough, please prepare for them. It does not finish in a few days. It will take a few years. So you have to prepare and you take time for the preparation. The second point is please complete the self-analysis or jikobunseki and research the company to show how you can contribute or benefit the company. Also, you have to make sure your career vision fits the company vision. So if your career vision does not fit the company vision, I think it doesn't work well even though you can join the company. You have to check and you have to show that you know you're suitable for the company. The last one is actually I mentioned before. Please understand Japanese working culture such as communication, punctuality, and so on. So to communicate well, you need to know Japanese working culture and adjust yourself. And you can maximize your performance. So these uh, three points are my advice. Hope it will helpful for you guys. <laughs> yes, it should be very informative and very helpful. Uh The last, do you have any message for our viewers today? Okay, uh, I think the working in Japan is not that easy in terms of working culture or language, but it was trying. That's why we are here to support you. If you register Kerry Diversity, we will keep you updated. So if you guys want to know more about working in Japan, the latest vacancy, or to discuss about building a career in Japan to find a vacancy that fits you, feel free to follow and contact to Career Diversity on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, or simply drop them an email. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Have a nice day. Assalamualaikum. Yeah, same to you. Waalaikum assalam. Bye-bye. Bye. So that is our conversation with Mr. Kaiji from Career Diversity Inc. We hope this video will be informative and helpful for you. Please do like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to follow our Instagram at Halal Media Japan. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum. Oh, um, did, did you did you read the article? Yes, of course. Uh, can I ask your you know your feedback or your opinion? <laughs> え、こっちここで今。<笑><笑>